You're watching Grizzly News Network. Good morning. It's Friday, November 6th. I'm Cassius Williamson alongside Kevin Porras. Here's what we're covering on today's broadcast. Restoring hope and humanity, one canned food at a time. Straight ahead, GNN gives you the details on Student Council's canned food drive. Plus, one Northside senior is a published author. Later in the show, we give you details and talk about the book. And of course, we'll round the show out with 90 Second Sports. We'll have the latest in Grizzly Sports news, this and more straight ahead. Tomorrow is your next exam covering transformation. Exam? All right, hold on, let me take my great group. Oh God, this isn't good. Tomorrow. Hey man, you ready for this test? Yes sir, I'm ready for that test. Ah, oh, that's cool, that's cool. What's your grade in here? You know man, I just got a solid B in here. But, but, B? I mean, what do you have in here? <laughs> we, don't, we, we don't talk about that. Oh. You're a fellow in this class? That's tough. You weren't ready for it, man. You weren't ready. We start today's shows off with a quick reminder to sophomores. Now it's time to start scheduling classes for next year. Your sophomore counselors need you to schedule with them as soon as possible. In other Grizzly news, today is the day to sign up for retakes on an APA exam for a course you are not currently enrolled in. If you want a chance at this, you must email Ms. McClure by the end of the day today. Happening over the weekend, everyone is invited to join the students and faculty from the Arkansas College of Osteopathic Medicine for a walk in the park with Doc. This event takes place tomorrow at 10 in the morning. There will be brief warm up, a health talks, and a walk around the park. Also, there will also be free blood pressure checks. Everyone is invited to participate. A nine week is underway, which is a reminder that we only have one month from the first end of the first semester. You were not, if you were not happy with your progress for the first nine weeks, administration encourages you to reach out to your teachers for help bringing up your grades. Remember, we are all in this together and you can get your grades up. Let's push through and finish strong. Seniors, it's senior poster time. Email or send a picture of the acceptance letter to acoats at onefortsmithschools.org. You also have a few picture options. You can come by room 104 to have your picture taken, taken or email acoats at onefortsmithschools.org the picture you want to use on your poster. Remember, pictures need to be from the knee P and have good lighting. Outdoors is good.
In other Grizzly news, Thanksgiving is just over three weeks away, which could mean that it's that time for a Ren Team thank you letter. All you have to do is use the link below and write a thank you to a teacher or one of your friends. Let them know how much they mean to you. You'll have until next Friday to get this done. Staying in the spirit of giving, Student Council is hosting a canned food drive to help those in need. You can do your part by bringing, bringing a non-perishable item like a can of green beans or a box of cornbread and place it in your class box in front of the media center. The class that has the most cans will win the spirit stick for their efforts, but that's not it. Not only do you need to have the most non-perishable items, but your basket must have a creative display in order to snag bragging rights. May the best class win and you have until next Friday to collect your items. Get those creative juices flowing and show your support for helping those in need. Now, it's time for sports. The Grizzly football team hosts Little Rock Southwest here at home. Tonight, to close out the season, it's time for 90 Second Sports where Cash has a better look at tonight's big game. Cash? Hello, everybody. This is Cassius Williamson here with your 90 Second Sports. And today, we're going to be talking about football a little bit. Last week, we played Cabot. We did lose, but we had some positive outcomes to that game. We had over 300 yards. Offense, we held them to under 200 yards offense, and we had more first downs than they did. So even though you lose sometimes, you always want to see what you can use for the next week, and those are some positive numbers that we can use for next week. This week, we play against Little Rock Southwest. Now, Little Rock Southwest has been under quarantine most of the season, so we didn't know if we were going to be able to play them, but... Now that they're out of quarantine, we can play them. We play them here at home. Make sure you come out. You support those Grizzlies. We want to show Little Rock Southwest that Northside is the best school in the world as far as fans. So come out, support those Grizzlies. It's the last time they're going to play at Northside ever for their whole career, for the seniors. So come out and support them. This is Cash Williamson here with your 90 Second Sports, and I'm out. Wake up with no jammies. Lives to tell for dinner. Julio served that scampi. You got it if you want it. Got, got it if you want it. Said you got it if you want it. Take my wallet if you want it now. Jump in the Cadillac. Girls, put some miles on it. Well, that's a wrap on this week's broadcast. It's been a busy one, and we hope you guys will come out and join us as we cheer on those Grizzlies against Little Rock Southwest. Good luck to the Grizzlies tonight. And we'll see you back right here next week. Bye. Bye.